All right, this customer brought us his boat. He wanted a few lights on it. He designed it. He had somebody else do the railing, but we put a bunch of wiring, a bunch of lights, and a bunch of switches. He bought some really cool stuff, and I'm going to show you all the stuff and show you how it works. Okay, Matthew. This is Matthew. So we have this battery switch is powering the voltage to all those front lights. How many lights are up there? Fourteen, fifteen. You got fifteen lights with the spotlight, and really sixteen with the deal, right? And then we got these up back here. Two more there, and a spotlight there. Okay, so this battery switch. Turn that on. That powers the front ones. Okay, turn the yellow lights on up here. So we got the switch panel up there, and that turns these yellow lights on. So we have. Uh, three yellow lights on each side on the bottom rows. Okay, turn the white lights on. Oh, that's bright. So that's the white lights. We got four white lights. These are all LED. And then we have the yellow lights on the bottom. So four white lights on the top each side. And then we can turn the yellow ones off. And you can turn them into white. And now they're white. So now you have seven really white lights on the front. Uh, that are running on one switch panel. Now there's a relay box, which I'm gonna go around here and show you. <clears throat> Underneath this hatch, down in here, is a relay box. And those are a bunch of fuses on top. There's a lot of wiring to that, and the relays are underneath that, you would unbolt that. But there's power and ground. It's a big giant wire going to those, and that wire is running from that battery switch in the back. Go ahead and turn those off, Matthew. Um, actually, we can turn them off right here using this battery switch. That turns those lights. It can also power them off and on to kill the power. Uh, that cable is the same size wire running through the floor and back underneath here. And then it's also going up these lines all the way to that air motor. And then on that air motor, we installed a 200 amp alternator uh, right there. So that's a brand new 200 amp alternator and a nice big heavy number one wire going from there down all the way to the front, the switch and so forth and so on. Underneath here, we went ahead and added an additional battery switch uh, for the engine and gave it two batteries which are over there. And we added, uh, the customer supplied all this stuff. We added a battery switch over there, point to it. We added that battery switch and then a 60 amp circuit breaker just for the LEDs. Pardon? 200 amps. Oh, a 200 amp circuit breaker, I apologize, for the LEDs. Inside of this box right here, we added a Blue Top Optima. And this Blue Top Optima battery is being charged uh, by the alternator up on the air motor. <clears throat> so when you run the air motor, it's going to charge this battery, and all the front LEDs up there are running off of that. Now we have this remote control spotlight, searchlight, and we have two LED light bars up here, which we're gonna turn on. And those are gonna be, Matthew's turning the battery switch on to power those. They're powered off the other one. So those are powered on the factory switch panel. If we turn the navigation, well, let's see, we're using the horn switch because he's not using a horn. If we turn the navigation light on, we can see that this adapter pole, uh, this front, uh, security light comes on, search light. And these are remote controls. So Matthew just pushed the remote, go ahead and turn it. And he can turn that light around and you can use it for a search via remote control. Now what's kind of cool about that is that base right there that's on it um, actually plugs in to that base right up there on the console. So he's gonna go up there and unplug it he just disconnects it and this is still on the same switch and he can plug it into that base and he'll have to turn it on again because it turns itself off because it's remote control and he turns it on again and still remote control and he can move it all around now there's they're, they're on the same signal so we do have a light on the back back here and if we power it on but you can see when you're turning the front one you can actually turn the back one too now in order to cycle these, that one turned off and that one turned on. If you want to run them both at the same time, you would turn that off, 
push the power button so they're both off and then power them on you have to hold the power button so you're going to do it again and this time you're going to hold the power button so that one can get a signal there we go now you got them both on now he can swing both of those around and they're moving all around in the shop and turn the rear light bar on and there's some rear lighting for you so this boat is lit up while we were doing that the customer wanted a stereo so when he supplied all this stuff so we went ahead and opened the cover and who makes that is that a sony jensen yeah it's kind of hard to open you just pull the top there you go. it's who jensen makes jensen. the radio so we got cover. a jensen marine the box is jensen the radio is sony a sony radio with a jensen waterproof box and we went ahead and added four speakers one there one on the other side of his feet and then we've got two up front right there turn it on There's the turn it on radio. and the customer showing up right now yes. okay anyway that's it i wanted to do this video to show mike everything working but he's here now so we're going to show him that it is working